Audrey Carlson Fieldhouse for CTN live coverage of boys high school basketball. Tonight, a good rivalry on a Friday night as the Cardinals host Crosstown rival Blaine. Joe Young, Howie Shapiro, sidelines, and Howie, always exciting these two programs get together. Yeah, really exciting. They uh, The Cardinals lost on the road by seven the last time. They were tied at 22 going into the break. Couldn't control the opportunity to get that win. They're looking to come out tonight. They know this is an opportunity for them to get the win. Coach O, you know, has a history with the Blaine program. It would be really sweet if he could do that. Well, for a, for the Blaine Bengals, they come in at 12 and 8. They've got a good, solid all-around team, and they're going to be hard to contain. Yeah, they definitely are. They've got size, and they've got perimeter shooting. Curtis Wigan is the leader for this club, averaging almost 14 points a game. Cardinals are going to have to make sure they put a body on them, but they've got a kid who's 6-7 underneath, and that's going to be a big challenge for them, too. They have to try and win the battle of the boards tonight. And for the, for the Cardinals, uh, need to get production throughout the lineup. Of course, Dial the Wall, last time we televised the game, went down with an injury, uh, sidelined in a, in a walking cast. Uh, they're going to need everybody to step up the rest of the way. No question about it. Tyron Johnson leads the team in points, leads the team in rebounds, leads the team in assists. He does it all for them, and he's going to have to be really kind of lead this team tonight if they want to get a victory here at home. The Cardinals desperately want that victory, not only to avenge the loss and get one up on their crosstown rival, but also knowing as they head down these final couple weeks of the regular season schedule, every game becomes that much more important. The Cardinals and the Bengals take the court next on CTN. Don't miss the Wedding and Special Events Expo at the Coon Rapids Civic Center on Saturday, March 4th. Find all types of vendors for your wedding or special event all in one place. Meet photographers, cake decorators, event planners, and more. Reserve tickets online at CivicCenter.com or purchase at the door. The Wedding and Special Events Expo at the Coon Rapids Civic Center, Saturday, March 4th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. See you there. Great crowd on hand here at the field house as we get ready to rock Cardinals and the Bengals. Both sides of the stands well attended. Another partial sellout here at the Roger E. Carlson. And here's a look at your starting lineups. There they are. Sam Garrity and Byron Bynum, the guards for the Cardinals. Curtis Wigand and Jackson Odegaard are the forwards, and Tim Leo is the center. Brandon Pratt and Marcel Winston in the backcourt for the Cardinals. Tyreon Johnson, Lionel Warner, and Sam Carver, the remaining three. You know, my apologies to Lionel Warner. I uh, I said that Tyreon Johnson was the leading scorer. Lionel Warner is the uh, earned that ability. It's a little over 17 points. Head coach Micah Gork. You think he's a little excited for this contest? You think he gets uh, gets into what he does? Such oh, a good coach. He's fired up, and he's he's. It's still fresh enough that he has relationships with uh, several of the players on the Blaine bench. A former coach to many of these young boys. Yes, took him to an eighth grade state Open title. Open look from the corner for Odegaard, and he just goes off the rim. Brandon Pratt, the rebound off the backside for the Cardinals. Cardinals want to be successful, limit opportunities by the Bengals. Limit him to one shot, get that, do a good job Bynum on him. The... got in there, nearly got the steal. Winston able to recover for the Cardinals. Warren a little pump fake from the corner, and the Cardinals will work the perimeter. Just going to finish by thought. Make sure you clean up on the boards, both ends of the court. Really important tonight for Coon Rapids. And what we've seen a couple of different times is uh, not just not finishing well when they're in close. Carver, a three-pointer, is off the mark. Garrity the rebound, and he'll bring it up court. Little head fake as he's approached by Johnson. And now Bynum back across for Garrity. Into the front court, Bynum. Warner out to defend. Sweeps it low to Wigan. Wigan had it taken away by Winston, and Winston on the run. Pushes it for Warner, tipped away by Bynum, and it'll stay Coon Rapids basketball. Now the Bengals good defensive team, and, and they're going to give the Coon Rapids all they can handle tonight on the defensive end. Cardinals are, are going to have to try and open up their offense. They're going to try and look for some things underneath, but keep an eye on the size advantage for the Bengals here. 
Winston working against Odegaard. Moves to his right, back to his left. Looks to pass right side for Pratt. Bynum out to defend. Carver on the wing. Up top for Warner. Back to Carver. Pratt, nice move to find room on the baseline. He scores off the glass, and the Cardinals strike first. Yeah, nice job using using his speed, getting around the edge, opening up a little bit of a hole in the defense for the for him to get that two points. Bynum trying to force it through is deflected. Carver ahead to Johnson. Finger roll won't fall. Rebound control by Warner. Back for Winston and around to Pratt on the left side. Into the post. Carver kicks it out. Winston for three. It's good. Uh, nice job. You, you take the defense away. Winston all alone on the on the wing beyond the arc. He hits the 3-5 Okun Rapids. You know, Joe, the one Achilles heel for the Cardinals this season. One is finishing underneath the basket. And they, they have to do a much better job tonight. Garrity to the paint. Kicks it out. A three-point attempt for Odegaard off the mark. Wigan to the rebound. Second chance won't go. Rebound swatted away out of bounds by Leo. And the Cardinals will take possession. There's head coach Mark Arsdorf in his seventh season as the Blaine head coach. Pratt works it into the corner for Warner. Back up top, Winston across for Carver, and now Johnson in the left corner. Pass deflected, but Warner able to regain control out to Pratt right side. Another three-point attempt for Winston. This one off the mark. Leo the rebound, and the Bengals will look to advance. Oh, good job boxing out by Leo. 6-7 frame. Down low, Wigan partially disrupted by Winston. Pratt on the run with numbers. Warner scores no basket, a charge, and a good defensive play by Byron Bynum, Jr. Byron uh, Bynum able to get position on the floor. That's Warner's first, of course, first team foul on the Cardinals. Cardinals continue with the full court pressure. Garrity into the corner. Odegaard back up top. Bynum trying to force it through the middle. It was kicked. Cardinals defensively giving the Bengals fits, finding passing lanes early in this contest. Oh, Bengal, Bengals want to try and get off to a good start here tonight. They want to also limit turnovers against this 1-3-1 zone defense. Pratt able to disrupt things. Johnson gets it back to him. Pratt to Warner at the back door. This time he scores right over the top of Bynum, and it's a seven-point lead. And so far, it's the Cardinals have gotten off to this quick start. Wigan can't finish in close. Looked at the ref, wanted a foul, didn't get one. Yeah, a smile on uh, head coach Arsdorf's face. I think he thought he should have uh, received an infraction as well. Wigan had 23 points in that win earlier in the season against the Cardinals. High post, Carver turns out, hands off for Johnson, off, the, off his foot and out of bounds. And a turnover back to Blaine. Garrity back across for Bynum. Into the corner, Odegaard pump fake. Now up top, Bynum will take the three. This one's going to roll across the top. The rebound by Carver. Pratt wants to move it. Johnson around the corner off the glass, and Leo has the rebound. And again, those misses in close have been costly for the Cardinals all season. A good look inside. And the first points of the game for the Bengals come from Kurt Wigan. Now, they, they were about 40% from underneath the basket against Andover in that loss the other night. Carver will take the three. That's going to be short. Winston battling, but the rebound controlled by Garrity. Bind him near midcourt. Into the corner, Odegaard. 
Waits for the double team to come. Now trying to get it down low to Leo. Taken away by Winston. Johnson behind the defense. Scores on the run. Yeah, in that transition defense, and uh, that's what Coach Arsdorf a little concerned about. They, he said that we cannot give up points on transition on a turnover. That's going to hurt us. And you saw the Cardinals there doing a nice job of it. Winston with the with the steal, and then Johnson with the finish. Cardinals, Cardinals really like to run. They They've do. got speed, and they get up court quickly. Yeah, you know, nice, nice look, def definitely. And, and it all starts on the defensive end for Coon Rapids and quick hands in the passing lane, able to take the basketball away and leads to points. Yeah, Marcel Winston already a couple of uh, forced turnovers, and he's not the only one. And every time you see them try to turn it up court quickly. Yeah, well, absolutely. They want to run. They know that they have the opportunity. They have the athletes to do it. And if they can turn turnovers into points, that's what uh, that's their goal. They have a 9-2 lead here with 12.47 to play first half. Garrity will advance and now retreat. Pushes it up court for Wigan. Cross court, Bynum has it. Into the corner, Odegaard. Double team comes, can't get through it. Another steal for Winston. Pratt into the corner, Warner for three. That one won't fall. Bynum the rebound off the backside. Oh, that would have been huge. And he'll bring it up court. Backed out and got it to Garrity. Down low, Wigan turns and can't get it to fall inside. Rebound comes loose. Warner has it on the run. Back door, Johnson swatted away out of bounds by Sam Garrity. Yeah, Garrity does a nice job at trailing Johnson, able to time the jump and get the swat to out of bounds. Cardinals, of course, keep possession, but it uh, looked like it was going to be a, an easy two points for Tyreon Johnson, and Garrity made sure that Cardinals are going to have to work a little, a little longer to get this basket. Inbound stolen away by Garrity. Back to back, great defensive plays by the senior guard. And he'll get it back for Bynum and cough it up. Pratt on the run. Pratt over Bynum, misses. Johnson has the rebound and able to put it back up and in. That's good. Again, good body control, reverse layup for Tyrion. 11 2 Coon Rapids. Into the corner, Odegaard for three. This time he's hit, he hits it. Well, the Bengals needed that. They, they needed to uh, try and get a little scoring drive of their own. Carver not ready for that pass, went off his shoulder, recovered by Leo. Bynum on the run, into the paint, down low, Wigan pumps twice and scores. And that's what points uh, off of turnovers will do for you. 11 7 now in favor of Coon Rapids. Back-to-back -back baskets for the Bengals. Wigan tips this away out of bounds. Cardinal ball. You know, you look at the uh, you look at the scoring distribution for the Bengals. Nobody, there's no clear number one scorer, but you've got uh, you've got your top five players all averaging between nine and, and eight and nine points, with the exception of Wigan, Wigan, who's we talked about almost 14 on the season. Johnson looking for room in the paint. His pass gets off the fingertips of Lionel Warner. And the Bengals have the ball now trailing by four. 10.45 remains first half. Coach O wanted to take a timeout. Ref didn't see it. Garrity back to Bynum as they get it into the front court. Double team comes, able to get through. Kicks it out, Odegaard for three. That one won't go. The rebound by Carver. Johnson on the run. As Garrity backpedaling and takes him right to the basket. And he was He's got for, six straight points for the Cardinals. He's looking for a little contact as well. Garrity backed away from Pratt into the corner. Wigan looking to go cross court and does. Bynum with it now high on the left side. Cross for Garrity, down low for Wigan. 
Defended by Winston into the middle. Garrity misses in close. Wigand comes flying in for the rebound and finishes with the left hand. Yeah, a good job, good persistent sting with the basketball. Able to clean up the miss. 13-9 in favor of Coon Rapids. Carver right side up top for Winston, left side for Warner. Driving is Johnson, reverse layup will fall. Tyron on his game this evening. He's got eight. And that's the last eight for the Cardinals. They lead by six. Driving is Bynum, swatted away by Karp. For up court for Warner, stripped away by Garrity. Garrity will lead the charge the other way for the Bengals. Pass deflected by Pratt, shaking up a bit. Odegaard three in and out. Carver the rebound, pushing it up court. Pratt not ready. Odegaard will recover and leave it for Bynum. Yeah, you talked about. Uh, I think uh, Brandon's been a little uh, discomfort there. Had a bit of a collision. Odegaard over the top to Leo, six seven. We'll get the foul and go to the line and shoot two. It's going to go against Brandon Pratt underneath. That'll be his first team second. Bengals uh, yet to pick up an infraction. First one off on the left side. Juan Asamwe checks in for the Cardinals. Lake Newberg and Logan Larson onto the floor for the Bengals. Leo shooting about 50% from the line. And he does so here. 15-10. Winston up top for Warner and now Pratt. Tyreon Johnson puts it on the floor, watched by Wigan, looking for room to get to the paint, kicks it out. Winston for three. That's off the back of the iron. The rebound by Newberg. Newberg will get it back. Winston immediately there to defend. Into the front court. Leo pivots and gets it across for Bynum into the paint. Left-handed runner won't go. Wigan the rebound back out for Newberg into the corner for Bynum. Newberg now. Looks in, kicks out, Bynum for three, that won't fall. Rebound tipped by Leo and saved to Wigan, who scores. Now, you know, Wigan does a nice job, just a little soft little flip into the basket. Now Coach O is going to call that timeout. His first. Team's first. You can see it again, there's the miss by Bynum. That was a great play by, Leo. by Tim Leo. Yeah, absolutely. Wigan has eight points for the Bengals. I hope you like what you're watching now. Make sure you like us on Facebook. That's all I'm going to say. That's it. The grand oh, total it. of the Shapiro pitch for Sh the CTN. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have Coon to Rapids say anymore. <laughs> Facebook page. Like us. Let me go like us right now. Yes. Oh, wait. I already did. You do. Perma-like. You know where we were five years ago? We were doing a hockey game. I, was, I think I was, You are correct. Yeah. And actually, uh, if you see a picture on there, I'm actually wearing the same thing I wore then. <laughs> <laughs> that is hysterical you are. I, I wear this out for every five years. <laughs> to the day. To the day. I got to make sure. I have a little catalog. Fantastic. Catalog. Cardinals back in possession, holding that three-point lead. Pass deflected. And no, de no deflection. Let me go off a Cardinal. I just, just threw it out of bounds, I think. Nonetheless, it'll be a turnover. And that's tough with the Bengals starting to gain a little bit of momentum. Good movement to Leo. 
Working against the much smaller Warner. Kicks it out to Bynum. He wants to get in the middle. Tried to drop it off for Wigan. And it was behind him. Winston's pass to Warner. Throws it back in. Winston able to save it on the left side. And Johnson will go across court to Warner. Cardinals can reset their offense. Some pretty solid defense played on both ends of the court so far in this first half. Seen a number of big defensive plays. Tyreon Johnson working against Leo. His shot comes up short. The rebound by Wigan. And running with it is Newbert. Bynum into the corner for Larson. Larson had his pocket picked. Winston will get it back from Juan Asamwe. Will pump fake. He gets the contact and will go to the line and shoot two. We had Warner on the wing, but uh, gave it a little head fake, tried to get the bucket. Oh, the Bengals, number 12, Logan Larson. See it again. His first, the gave the fake. And the free throw line for the Good, good uh, finish, but hopefully we're not through from the stripes. From the stripe. They announced the foul against Larson, but it actually went against Blake Newberg. First team foul on the Bengals here with 6.05 remaining in the first half. Winston gets one and two. Lead is four as Bynum controls off the boards. Logan Larson back to Bynum. Bynum around Winston. Down low for Wigan, trying to back his way in. Juan Asamwe got a hand in, nearly stole it, but on Wigan able to recover and score and make it a two-point game. And Wigan again was looking for a little contact, nothing called, but he's, uh, he was fouled on his shot. Warner back up top to Pratt. On a Samway sneaking into the middle of the defense, tried to get it off to Tyreon Johnson, recovered by Newberg, and he just hands off for Bynum. Larson back across, Bynum can't get around Winston this time. Pass deflected by Tyreon, and that's going to be a jump ball. How, I, I'm not sure how they didn't call it travel. He yeah, slid, he slid, he slid the ball. across the floor. Unless they're saying he doesn't have possession. Oh, he was still sliding. Yeah. He had clear possession. Yeah. But well, Cardinals uh, well, they had possessions. And the result is the same. Yeah. The Cardinals have the basketball. Rask fresh on the floor, kicks it back up top to Tyrion and now gets it in the corner. Marcus Rask. Down low for Carver. Back to Rask. And now Juan Asamwe swings it near side for Pratt. Cross for Tyria. Johnson to Juan Asamwe, a little pump fake. Now we'll put it on the floor, drive around Leo. Shot won't go. Carver had a tip, and it ends up in possession for Sam Garrity. Garrity into the corner. Newberg underneath. Leo spins back to the lane, tried to drop it off for Larson, and Larson is going to end up getting the foul, battling for the ball. That's Larson's second, team well, second. Really, it's his well, first. Yeah, they, they, but they gave no it to him. No one corrected him, so I don't know if that will change. Juan Asamwe across for Tyreon. Juan Asamwe, blocked away by Leo, recovered by Wigan. Moved ahead and running with it is Garrity. Three-pointer for Newberg. Won't fall, Rask had it momentarily. Larson waits for traffic to clear, scores and ties the game with 3.50 to play. Uh, Blaine was patient, they able to get back into this contest. Cardinals with that early lead. Drive won't go for Rask, swatted away, recovered by Juan Asamwe into the corner. Johnson drops it off for Carver, he scores plus the foul, it's gonna go against Garrity. 
As Sam holding his ground, doing a nice job getting the bucket, picking up the foul, an opportunity for a three-point play. Sam's first points of the night. Nice drive by Johnson, a little dish back to Sam, and Sam finishes and go to the strike. Carver able to convert three-point lead to the Cardinals as the Bengals bring it up court. Three-pointer for Newberg from the corner. Long rebound bobbled, controlled by Wigand up top for Bynum. Garrity, toe on the line, shot won't go anyway. Wigand another offensive board and clears for Byron Bynum. Right side, Newberg. And they're gonna give Wigand an offensive foul for tossing Marshall Holland to the floor. Well, he was uh, he was giving him a, an arm earlier, Holland, and, and definitely a difference in size and body type. And, well, it's uh, a clear. I was just about to mention the clear mismatch they yep. had when the that was your foul right there. Yeah. wasn't wasn't a lot to it, but as it did take Holland to the floor, the ref's, ref's going to blow his whistle. And just like that, the Bengals have four fouls. Rask baseline to Tyrion. Works his way back there against KJ Downey into the corner. Carver for three. It's good. Yeah, Sam missed a couple early. Got that one from the wing. Six point lead for Coon Rapids. To 20 to play in the first half. Coon Rapids back to a six point edge. Six straight points from Sam Carver after the Bengals able to scratch their way back to a tie. Wigan in the post, looks for help, kicks it out. Newberg gets some room on the baseline. Jumper is good. Tie into the corner for Sam Carver. Warner. Back to Carver, right side, guarded by Wigan. Tyrion at the top of the key. Left side for Rask. Down low, Carver had some trouble, but recovers, able to spin around Wigan and score. Yeah, it, nice job because he looked he looked beyond the arc because it looked like the defense they didn't think he was going to pass it out top. And then a little bit of a spin move. Easy bucket for Sam Carver. Six-point lead again for Coon Rampant. Sam has eight. Bynum tripped up as he went through traffic. He's going to go on Tyrion. going to go against yep. Tyrion. His first, team third. Another look at that move by Carver. Good little head fake. Got around Wigan. And scores in close. Bynum will get an opportunity to shoot a couple. Haven't seen a lot of free throws. Because we have not seen a lot of fouls. Bynum by uh, also 50% from the line. And he does just that. It's weird. I was going to ask if, if that would happen because that's what you said before uh, after yep. Leo missed his first. Then he hit the second. And then he hit the second. And in this case, it was Bynum hitting the first. You mentioned he's 50%. Carver, another three-pointer, and that one was sweet as silk it as it went through the nylon. Under a minute remaining, first half. Coon Rapids' lead is eight. Bynum high on the right side. To Downing, kicked across. Newberg for three, that won't go. Poked at by Leo. Carver able to recover off that miss. And the Cardinals have it with 30 seconds left in the half. Let's see if they uh, if they hold it here. Winston working his way against Downey, and he traveled before kicking it out to Carver. And the Bengals will take over with 18 seconds left. Hey, 
Bonas will put Odegaard back on the floor. So they've got their starting five out there. Only change for the Cardinals, Rask in instead of Tyreon Johnson. Final 15, the Bengals trail by eight. In the corner, Odegaard back up top to Bynum. Creeping out is Winston across. Garrity for three. That won't fall. Wanasamwe has the rebound. And that will end the and first half. The Rapids finishes strong in the first. And go to the locker room up by a. We'll take a break and get a word from Coach O right after this. You're watching live coverage of boys high school basketball on CTF. The military carried their weight for me. Now it's my turn to carry weight for them. In February, hundreds of us will march in long underwear wearing a pack. And my pack is one pound for every $10 I raise to support our veterans. I did this last year and I'm doing it again this year. Come do this with me. It's called the Nearly Naked Ruck March. You can find us on Facebook or register at 23rdveteran.org. This year's Nearly Naked Ruck March is in Duluth on February 25th. Welcome back to Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse, where you're watching CTN's live presentation, Boys High School Basketball. We're at the break, a 27-19 lead for Coon Rapids over Blaine. I'm here with Cardinal head coach Michael Gork. And, and coach, you guys started out strong. Blaine was patient. They got back in the game, but you opened it up at the end. Talk a little bit about what you guys did to, for that. Yeah, it was nice. They went on a big run. I liked the way we responded. Um, you know, we had... <laughs> Execution, executed a little better, started to finish opportunities. That's you know, a big thing for us is uh, when the opportunities are there, finish. We had a lull there where we didn't, uh, and then we were doing it again, got the lead. We were rebounding better near the end of the half, too, and that's key. We know that they're really good on the boards, Weigand and Leo, and, and we got to keep them off the glass. They had a run there where they were getting on it, getting back in there that way, and we, we've done a better job here at the end of the half. You were tied the first time you played him at the break. You have this nice lead going into the break. Talk about what you'll talk to your guys about keeping that lead and hopefully extending it. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be the, you know, the attitude of domination that we need to have. So we need to really be good at what we do. Just continue to play with confidence. Uh, again, make sure that we're, we're really moving on the flight of the ball defensively. Make sure we're getting rebounds. We need to be smarter with the ball. A couple careless turnovers. You know, we take care of the ball and we rebound defensively. I like our chances plus eight. I mean, we got to do those things, though. Thanks, Coach. Good luck in the second. We'll take a quick break and be back with first half stats and, stats and highlights right after this. Rapids Recycling Center can help you recycle all of your old appliances and electronics. From your old refrigerator to washers and dryers, we can help you recycle your appliances and keep them out of the waste stream, which is required by state law. When it comes to electronics, some fees may apply. Check our website for more details. The Coon Rapids Recycling Center, helping you recycle even more. Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse, Coon Rapids, a 27-19 lead over the Blaine Bengals as we reach the half. And how it was a good half, but it, there was definitely a roller coaster ride through the first 18 minutes. Coon Rapids came out strong, scored the first seven points of the game, had a nice healthy lead, saw it evaporate, but able to build it again before the break. And I think that's that's the thing I take away from is the fact they were able to build that. And you, we talked to Coach O, and you know he was uh, happy with with that ability to to uh, be able to get that lead and build it up a little bit. And he talked about what he needed to do, what his team needed to do at the break in order to continue to either hold the lead and extend it. And they, for, the, for the Cardinals, they started out quickly again, scoring the first seven points, uh, hit a couple of big three-pointers in that first half as well. One right there coming from Marcel Winston and a lot of fast break points. Lionel Warner's only two for the for the first half. Wygan was big for the Bengals. Tyreon Johnson had eight points, and Sam Carver leads the pack with 11. And all of those 11 coming down in the final couple of minutes, leading the charge. It was the last 11 points of the half for the home team coming from number 45. Yeah, really nice to see Sam uh, hit some hit some shots from the outside. He, he missed a couple early, but uh, good job gaining momentum. And now the leading scorer here for Coon Rapids uh, in the first half with 11. 
should bring us to an exciting second half. The Cardinals and the Bengals. More coming up next on CTN. I'm Ryan Nagasu, 2010 Olympian and bronze medal winner of the 2014 U.S. Championships. I knew I loved skating at the age of five and now it's become my life passion. Find your skating passion at the Coon Rapids Ice Center. Classes are available all year round. It could be the place where your skating dreams come true. See you on life. Welcome back to Coon Rapids High School. You're watching CTN's live presentation of boys high school basketball. We're at the break, 27-19 in favor of Coon Rapids over Blaine. I'm here with Bengal head coach Mark Arsdorf. Mark, we talked about points off of transition. Coon Rapids did a nice job in that first half to extend that lead. Yeah, they did, and it was uh, attributed to some sloppy passing on our end, and that's that's what their defense will do. They try to create some of those situations, and. Uh, you know, we can't just throw it to them. They're going to get two-on-one situations. It's tough for us to defend. So, you know, 10-11 turnovers is too many. That led to some points for them. What else did you talk to your guys about at the break? I just want to play with some more poise. We're getting some decent looks. They're not going down. It's got to, we've got to believe they're going in the second half. Um, you know, Sam Carver had a good half for Coon Rapids. we got to get a hand up on him. He's got the odd hand right now. So, there's some small adjustments. Um, it's a 36-minute game. Thanks, Coach. Good luck in the second. We're gonna, uh, I believe we're gonna take a break and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna be back right after this, the second half. Look at you, you're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Back at the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse, just about ready to get the second half underway. Coon Rapids on top of Blaine, 27-19 as we get ready to start. Bengals will have the opening possession, and you heard Coach Arsdorf talking about Sam Carver, the hot hand, the last 11 points of the first half for the Cardinals. Hit a couple of threes, converted a three-point play as well. Uh, the, and th this will be the opportunity for the Cardinals to get stops on defense, try and get their offense continuing to get going, and try and extend this lead, put the pressure on the Bengals. And, and again, Coach Arsdorf talked about turnovers. That's what their defense will do for you. Garrity, a nice little quick pass down low. And Wyland scores. That's tipped, Bynum races in, gets the steal, beats Johnson back, but misses the in-close opportunity. Pratt works away the rebound, long pass taken away by Odegaard. Odegaard will slow it down to Bynum. Back to Odegaard in the corner, inside, Wigan turning against Carver. Left-handed hook wouldn't fall, Leo kicks it back out to Bynum. Right side, Odegaard for three, that won't go. Wigan's got the rebound. The Foul, and we'll go to the line, issue two. Yeah, I'll call that one on Sam, foul from behind. That'll be his first, team first. His first, at the free throw line, the Bengals number 24, Curtis Wigand, shooting two. Is Wigand a 50% free throw shooter as well? He's a 55% free throw shooter. This time he's below that average as he misses both. Johnson the rebound leaves it off for Wanasamwe. And it Wanasamwe and that's kicked away by Wigan.
Cardinals will inbound right in front of their large crowd that is just waiting to erupt. A big contingent here at the barn. Wanasamwe looks over the defense. Right side for Winston. Wanasamwe steps in and into the middle for Carver. Carver will shoot from the free throw line. It won't go. Warner the rebound. The follow won't go. Wigand rips away that rebound. And going the other way is Byron Bynum. All the way to the other end. Kicks it out. Odegaard steps in. Now leaves it a pass a little behind Garrity, but he's able to recover. Wigand scores underneath. Yeah, nice dish from, from Garrity, too, to, to find him underneath. And the lead is four. Lionel Warner been quiet offensively. Only two points on the night so far. He's the leading scorer, a little over 17. Warner in the corner to Juan Asamwe, a little pump fake, leaves it off for Johnson, left-hander won't go. Rebound controlled by Odegaard. Now this is what the Cardinals did not want to happen, misses underneath again, and the Bengals uh, coming back trying to get points off of turnovers. Winston disagreed with the call, thought he got ball. But he'll get called for the reach in. Bynum to Garrity. Back to Bynum. Bengals have gotten this game back to being tied, have not led tonight. Ball poked away, and Johnson had it stripped away again by Bynum, but lost out of bounds, so the Cardinals will have possession at the Bengal end. Oh, Bynum quick defensively. Did a, does a nice job of uh, coming back and disrupting what the Cardinals want to do on, on the offensive end. Inbound goes to Warner, back to Johnson. Up top, Winston, a little fake. Another fake, now gives it to Johnson in the corner. Back to Marcel Winston. Juana Samway back to Winston. Hands it off for Tyria. On a Samway. Backs away as the double team comes into the middle. Winston back out. Juan Samway. Toe on the line. Shot won't go. Rebound tipped around. Controlled by Garrity. Find him trying to force a pass through the middle. Refs confer and decide it went out off of Wigan. Yeah, he's uh, he's trying to argue his case with the officials that uh, it did not go off of him. But the guys in stripes, well, they're not going to have anything with that. Wigan applying the full court pressure. Juan Asamwe into the front court and timeout. Coach Joel calls timeout. The Bengals able to cut into that eight-point lead. Fourteen thirty-one remaining in this uh, second half. Three and a half minutes into the half, and the Cardinals have yet to score. I don't see the cowbell. We need more cowbell. They need a band. whole cowbell section. They do. I'll even play it. If they get a cowbell, I'll go over there and play it. Yes, you would. I would. was kicked by Byron Bynum. Pass inside, kick back out. Johnson 
Goes up against Leo, and the shot comes up short. The rebound by Wygan. Yeah, just keeps He's it. He's got to be getting close to a double-double yeah. if he doesn't already have it. He's been fantastic on the boards for Blaine. Yeah, 14 points, and uh, you're right, though. He's uh, He's got to have close to double digits and rebounds. He's got the only four points in the first four minutes of this second half. Leo left alone, kicks it out. Bynum for three, it's short. Long rebound comes back to him. Tried a little behind the back pass. Went off the Cardinals. Carver able to get over and get it. And they're gonna confer again. It's Cardinal ball. Went off, off of Sam's leg. Nice job by Sam to save it. Yeah, Bynum came in and knocked it away. Johnson leaves it for Winston. Winston lost his footing in some trouble. Johnson there to support. Defense comes, intensifying pressure from the Bengals. Foul's going to be called. Byron Bynum on the reach. Yeah, that'll be his first. Team first. His first. And you see the pressure that uh, the Bengals are putting on the Cardinals when they get the ball in their offensive end. They're not getting any kind of an open look. There you see getting hands in the passing lane again. Another turnover. Bengals get it into the offensive end, but then a scramble on the floor. A timeout for the Bengals called by Garrity. 15.06 to play, second half. A good timeout by the Bengals. Cardinals have the possession arrow. They tied that ball up. That would have been Coon Rapids' ball, but nonetheless, quick timeout. Arsdorf going to talk to his guys. If to mention just four points scored all by Blaine here in the second half. Another big show Monday night. Big show. The big the show. Really big show. I think we should dress like presidents. It's President's Day on Monday. I understand. All. So, you know, like Abe Lincoln? Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, or um, George Washington? Yeah, I was thinking I could be Washington, you could be Lincoln. Okay, I'm all right with that. Or, uh, you know, I, I do have a stovepipe hat somewhere, so I'll, I'll look around my uh, my basement, well, see if I, I can a, find it. I have a monocle. Does that mean I should be FDR? You could be FDR. The Monopoly guy. Well, uh, yeah, One of the could, two. Yeah. Back to basketball, long inbound, and Bynum will. Collect it way back in his own end and turn up court against Johnson. Right side, Garrity gets around Winston, runs into some traffic, gets it across to Bynum. Thought about the shot and then steps in. Garrity into the paint, little floater won't fall. The rebound taken away by Wygan. Yeah, he's very active underneath the basket. Coach O was talking about him earlier when we spoke and, and just how active he is at both ends of the court. As he's going to the floor, Sam Garrity able to throw it up and in. He'll have an opportunity for a three-point play. Could make it a one-point game. A little bit of contact there by Marcus Rask. That'll be team third, his first. Garrity Garrity's just, first points yep. of the game. And it ended a long lull in scoring. Misses. Long, Leo has the rebound, takes it back up and scores. We're tied. And they are tied at 27. Again, Cardinals offense is not being able to score here so far in the second half. And you give credit to the Bengals defense doing a good job of, of really confusing him and, and getting in passing lanes and not letting him get comfortable. Well, and you talked to Coach O about it at the half, extending and preserving that yep. lead. And we have seen a number of times this season that the Cardinals Allowed big leads, even double-digit leads, to slip away and came away losing games they felt they should have won. I'm gonna go on Leo. Over the back. Winston will inbound from just underneath the Blaine basket. 
just under 12 minutes remaining in the second half. And we're all tied at 27. Swing it around to Sam Carver, back to Rask in the corner, looks for room on the baseline, and he scores. No, they're going to call it an offensive foul. Sam Garrity stepping up to take the charge. And a solid defender, Sam Garrity, able to hold his ground. We'll take another look at it. Second oh, yeah. charge the Bengals have taken that have taken points off of the board for the Cardinals. Garrity to Wigan, kicks it across. Bynum to Odegaard for three. It's a little short. Wigan has the long rebound. Garrity will step back in. And he is going to be called for the charge as Juan Asamwe finds position. Nice job by Juan Asamwe to, to stand, to hold his ground. We'll see it again as Garrity's trying to take it to the hole. That's Garrity's second, team third. Warner back in for Coon Rapids. And you know, he's a guy they got to look at to see if they can get some scoring. Just two points on the night. You know, you see him getting near his average. It's a different game. Working against Garrity. Kicks it out to Pratt. And now Winston tripped up as he tried to get around Bynum. Bynum ends up with control. Poked away by Pratt. I'm not sure what there is. There was a lot of... They say Bynum Hands. kicks it. Okay. So it'll be Coon Rapids basketball yep. after all that. I thought there was a foul it there. It looked like the trip looked, there. It, 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 off, it, yeah, it looked an awful lot like he tripped it. Johnson lost the handle, back out of bounds, turns it over to the Bengals. He's saying it went off to the Johnson's knee. Tyron said, no, it didn't. Crystal said, nah, huh? The percentage of winning arguments against referees well, is, is especially nil. without video replay, it's almost impossible. A steal by Brandon Pratt. He'll push it up court. Tyreon missed the dunk. And Leo is there to accept the rebound. That's frustrating for Tyreon because that was an easy two. Oh, and then Wigan left alone underneath, disrupted by Winston. A chance for Leo off the glass and in, and the Bengals have their first lead of the game with 10-14 to play. And the Cardinals still without a point here in the second half. Yeah, you see the clock 10-14 remaining in the contest. Still obviously plenty of time, but you know, the, uh, the momentum has uh, gone away from the Coon Rapids sideline and over to the Bengals contingent. Ten straight points to open the second half. And they've shut out their opponents for nearly eight minutes of, of play. Yeah, and that's something that uh, obviously frustrates Coach, Coach Ugoric. And, you know, we talk, as you mentioned, we talked to him at the break and about, as you mentioned, extending that lead. And, well, and you have and to done score the on breakaways. You have to score. And I mean, the dunk, the dunk is great. But no, you got to. It has to go through the cylinder. Absolutely. And nobody's, nobody, bo it bothers more than Tyran Johnson. Well, I, I think I, I think it might rival how much it bothers uh, Coach O. A absolutely. But yes, Ty, Ty feels bad about it, I'm sure. But Blaine, first lead of the game after almost 26 minutes of play. We've talked about the good fan base they've got here for the game tonight. And these fans, again, just waiting for something to get them back involved in this contest. Yeah, and again, it's just, you know, you just got to calm down. The, the way Coon Rapids played in that first half, they, they can duplicate that here in the second. But Johnson running around the defense, and he scores to tie it back up. He's been quiet for a long he, time. He has. He has 10, but no question. Strong in that first half, but 
Almost lost out of bounds, but Wigan able to recover. Larson back to Wigan. Into the post. Leo wants to get it back to him. We'll put it on the floor instead. Now leaves it off. Good patience and a little reverse Leo by Wigan to put him back in front. Wigan has 16. Johnson can't finish at the other end. Again, missing in close. First thing Coach O told me today when we when we spoke is that we can't do that. We can't continue to do that. Those are gimme baskets. Newberg into Leo. Leo troubled and fouled. Foul's going to go against Sam Carver. Yep. That'll be his second team. Fifth. Sam second. Wigan will get it off the inbound on the right wing to Leo in the high post. Pass deflected. Warner tied up with him. He's able to come away with the basketball. And he is going to score at the other end, plus the foul. An opportunity to put the Cardinals back in front. Yeah, you know, that's what they need, a little spark from Lionel Warner. Again, he decided he's going to take it hard to the hole. Does a nice job of wrestling away from Garrity. Able to get a little finger roll in. The Boy, Newberg was close to, to planting his feet. Yep. Kind of gets up on his toes. Yep. Big free throw. And Warner able to convert. Here's Warner five. Inbound goes to Larson, turns up court, runs into some pressure, will get it back to Garrity. Garrity back to Larson in the front end. Leo down low. Warner got a piece of the shot by Wagon. Cardinals have the ball down court. Johnson will lay it in off the glass. Yeah, he was going to make sure he laid that in softly. Garrity running past the tight defense into the front court. Newberg will give it back to him out of the corner. Great little dish behind the back of the defender. Wigan misses in close, but the foul on Pratt will mean he gets two chances from the free throw line. That'll be uh, two on Pratt. And number oh, six on, on the Warner. Cardinals. They called it on Warner. That'll be his second yep. hit. And they look down, a little soft kiss off the board. Wigan misses the first. And he's able to hit the second. Cardinals working the perimeter. Right side is Marcel Winston. Now Lionel Warner. We'll back away from Garrity. Trying to find room right side. Back to Tyreon Johnson up top. Puts it on the floor against Wigan. Leaves it off for Winston. In the middle is Juan Asamwe. Takes it right up against Leo. And a relatively easy block yeah, for the he, six foot seven incher. He's not going to win that battle. Down low, Wigan will get the foul on Marcel Winston. Winston had good position, but. Left his feet. That'll be his second. Team seven puts uh, the Bengals in the bonus situation. Wigan able to hit the first this time and an opportunity here to tie the game back up. And he does just that. 7.54 to play. It's kind of been how it has been for this game is Cardinals get a little bit of a lead. Bengals do a good job of cutting back into it, tying it up. Had the lead for a little while. Doesn't matter how many leads you have nope. until the final buzzer sounds. That's right. It's whoever has the edge at that time. So we got seven and a half minutes to find a winner. Warner for three. It's good. Now, Lionel's starting to heat up a little bit. He's got eight. And it's exactly what the doctor ordered for Coon Rapids. Garrity turns back out of the corner, up top, Newberg. Down low, Wigan. Can't get it to fall, Leo's tip won't go either. Winston wants to run, and then he traveled. He's ready to make a pass, realized his 
Intended target turned his back. Well, he had that dialed up. And from kind of double clutch. A little ways away now, didn't he? He did. Yep. Indeed. Larson quickly guarded by Pratt. Johnson creeping over. He comes back near side to Garrity. Newberg for three. That one won't fall. Wanna Samwe the rebound. Wanna Samwe backs away from Leo. Pratt gives it to Johnson on the right wing. Warner will put it on the floor. And he is fouled by Garrity trying to get around inside. That's uh, Garrity's third team, fifth. So he's going to take a seat on the bench, and you know, that's, a, that's a big player to take out of your lineup. You know, certainly not, maybe not point-wise, but his tenacity and his defense and the ability to get to the ball and into the and passing lane. Yep. Seen him make a number of good passes, especially the sparking that early run, a couple of good looks underneath. Warner, another three-pointer. He's feeling it. And a timeout for the Bengals. A six-point lead with 6.24 remaining. Again, just uh, cool, calm, and collected. A little step back, nothing but a tang. Drop that. And that is getting this large Cardinal heavy crowd into the contest. Well, Lionel has nine points here in the second half. Tyreon Johnson leading the way in points for the Cardinals, though he's got a dozen. And it started uh, with Johnson getting the offense going early on. He had four straight point, four straight buckets for the Cardinals, eight straight points in that first half, and now four for him here in the second to lead the way with 12 and Warner at 11. And the uh, the Cardinals able to build up up a six point lead here with 6:24 remaining. Cardinals have not been able to get Carver going again. He had that good run right at the end of the first half. Scored the last eight points of that first half for the Cardinals. The Cardinals have lost six of their last seven games. And they including three in a row. Well, and the the thing is early in the season when they were having a lot of success, they were winning the close games, and over the last couple of weeks, they've come out on the losing end of those close battles. Pratt was trying to dish, nobody there, went right into the chest of Tim Leo. Down low, Wigan, little head fake back up top to Bynum. Newberg into the corner, Larson back to Newberg. Larson again. High post, back door, Bynum. Down low, Wigan fights through traffic and scores. And, and really, such a nice dish by Bynum to get it to Wigan for the bucket. He has 21, leads all scores. Yeah, and he. He's, uh, he's been strong in here in the yeah. second half. They've certainly relied on their leading scorer a little bit more here since the break. Rask thought about the three, had the room. Kicked away by Wigan. Taking water bottles off the scorer's table and... Yeah, young lady. Nobody, yeah. nobody injured, that's the good part. Officials are going to have a conversation here. What's the conversation? Does he win a prize for, for hitting, hitting the, the water bottle? Yeah, exactly. Who wins the little cupid though? I. I mean, it's you pretty lips? clear cut. But no, I don't. Right. They're going to change the clock. They've Put on, put decided the, that uh, some time came off the clock as the clock operator was 
stopping the ball and protecting those around him from feeling the wrath of a wayward basketball. Okay, 10 more seconds, place back on the clock, let's play ball. 5.09 remaining. Here in the second half, Coon Rapids leads by four. Wanasamwe backs away from Garrity. And we'll get it near side for Tyreon Johnson into the corner for Warner. A miscommunication on the back end. And it's a turnover on the Cardinals. Certainly never a good time for a turnover, but uh, it's, that was that was an unfortunate one for Coon Rapids just because of the miscommunication. Pratt oh. nearly got in that lane, but Bynum instead finds Odegaard underneath, and it's a two-point game. Again, does do a nice job of getting those players underneath the basket, the quick little dish to them, and up and over for the score. Pass through the hands of Juan Asamwe, turned over again, and the Bengals. Get it into the front court. Byron Bynum on the left wing. Watched by Brandon Pratt. Back to Leo. Gets it to Garrity at the top of the key. Odegaard in the corner. Into the middle for Leo. Back out. Bynum. Garrity steps up. 15-footer is short. The rebound by Warner. Into the corner. Carver back up top for Lionel Warner. The Cardinals need to convert on offense. Couple of back-to-back -back turnovers. Warner for three. It's good again. Boy, the conscious from back there. Five-point lead for Coon Rapids. Warner's three three-pointers the last three buckets for the Cardinals. Leo the rebound out to Odegaard. He has the answer. Good job. Get the ball back to Odegaard and left alone from beyond the arc, and he drained it. Two-point lead for Coon Rapids, approaching the three-minute mark. Joe Yund. Carver back to Johnson, he scores! He has 14. Down low, Wigan. Carver to defend, out to Bynum for three, well off the mark, and Warner has the rebound. Wanasamwe, guarded by Odegaard. Brandon Pratt had it tipped away by Bynum, able to recover. Bynum slides by, a little pump fake by Wanasamwe. Tried to get it to Tyreon, instead out to Pratt, around to Warner, looks for room, kicks it back out instead. Carver for three, it's good! It's 13 points, although they don't have his number up on the scoreboard. I believe that's 13 points for Sam. Seven-point lead for the Cardinals. 14 points. 14. Three-pointer for Odegaard. He won't go this time. Tracks down his own rebound. Bynum down low. And another opportunity for Wigan. This time he gets the foul. We'll go to the line to shoot two. Seven point lead for Coon Rapids, 150. Remaining here in the second half. They call that a Tyrat two personals for him, team eight. Wigan able to hit the first. Second one is short, and a foul is going to be called on Newberg for the push underneath. Off the miss. Minute 49 remaining, a six point lead for the Cardinals, and they have the ball. Johnson, right side for Pratt. Bynum trying to get those quick hands in there and does. Bengals with numbers at the other end. Carver able to come up with a block. A block by Tyreon on the chance by Bynum. Wigan kicks it out. Garrity 
Lost it away out to the Cardinals. Oh, Coach, Coach Ars Arsdorf complaining to the official thought it went off a Cardinal. I think there he felt there was a foul underneath before as well. Raskin for Coon Rapids. A lot of hands there. Winston was the one to get the ball. And I think that's the right call, actually. Yeah, I think he got right. all ball and went off of, came out of his hands, went off his chest and out of bounds. Pass is deflected, but gets through to Warner. A six point lead for the Cardinals as we're down to 115 remaining. Garrity going to pick up his fourth. And that is the last foul to give. Oh no, that is number seven. Yep. So a one and one opportunity for Lionel Warner. He hits the first, makes it a three possession game with 71 seconds to go. He has 16. 14 of them here yep. in the second half. There's a steal for Lionel Warner. Cuts back against Garrity. Needs some support. And he's fouled. He'll go to the line again. What a second half for Lionel Warner. Yes. Cardinals leading scorer and Held to just two points in the first half. He is taking charge here in the second. And you, you got to look at it too. I mean, Blaine came out in the second half. In the second Wagen half, Wagon is had an outstanding game. Yeah. And he led that that charge to to put him right back in and, and to take the lead at least briefly. Opportunity. I missed. I missed a couple of points. An opportunity for the Cardinals. To make it a 10 point game, and he does. Under a minute, the pass taken away by Marcus Rask, and Rask will look to eat up some clock and then take a foul unless he can get it to Winston, which he does. And now Winston will get it to guys with space, just move the ball, and there's the foul finally by Newberg. That will put Rask at the line. and should be all academic from here. It, it certainly should. 36 seconds remaining. Cardinals looking to get their 10th win of the season. And Joe, what a big one it is here tonight. A huge win against a very big rival. And it, a game that easily could have gone the other way as they saw their lead evaporate. And saw the Bengals take the lead through the first part of the second half. But for the last 10 minutes, they have taken charge and are taking it home. Rask hits them both. The lead is 12. Garrity lost the handle and then kicked it out of bounds. Cardinal ball again. Fans, uh, they haven't sat for a long time. I don't know if they've sat if, yeah, tonight. Really. Maybe a little earlier, but they've been on their feet the majority of this game. Foul is called. Send Sam Carver to the line. He's shoot a one and one at the other end. Big smile on his face as he approaches the charity strike. And this is a big win for the Cardinals, Huge. not just in what it means for their season, but what it means for their confidence yep. heading into this last two and a half weeks or so. And big three free throws here down the stretch. Cardinals have outscored the Bengals 
13 to 1 over the last few minutes. And they call that foul. And that'll put Tyree on at the line and shoot two. Several different players hitting free throws down the stretch, too. As Johnson hits them both. He has 16. And that is the lead as we approach the final 10 seconds. That'll do it. And we will take a short break and get some post-game reaction from the victorious Cardinals right after this as the Cardinal fans get to storm the floor once more. Final score, 58-42. Stay with us post-game after this on CTF. Looking for a new home? Come to Coon Rapids. Down payment assistance is available from the Mortgage Assistance Foundation when you purchase your new home with an FHA 203K mortgage. Any single family home in need of renovation or rehab can qualify. Find out more today. Call 763-767-6422 or visit the city's website. We love our new home. Welcome back to Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse. We have been watching CTN's live presentation, Boys High School Basketball. Coon Rapids Cardinals 58, the Blaine Bengals 42. Nice uh, win for the Cardinals. I'm here with one of the stars of the game, Lionel Warner, and head coach Mike Gork. Lionel, I'm going to talk to you first. Two points in the first half, 16 in the second. Talk about the difference and what changed for you in that second half. Um, just my team, my coaches motivated me to get more offensively involved in the game. Uh, I was looking I was looking to score more in the second half. I gave up some easy looks that I shouldn't have gave up. Just started shooting, felt the rhythm. Yeah, that's really it. Uh, you, you the Blaine came out and did a nice job. They took that lead a little bit. Coach O called a timeout. After that timeout, I thought things changed a little bit. What did he say? What was his message to you in that timeout? His message was basically that I he told he had talked to me on the side, told me that I needed to get more offensively involved with our team, showing attacking, getting taking my shots that I usually take, and we just and cranked it up intensely on defense, and that's just how we play. Thanks, Lyle. Congrats on a big win, Coach. It's got to feel pretty good. Uh, you saw the Bengals come back in that second half, scored the first 10 points of that. Yeah. You called that time out. I thought your the attitude and the, and the mood of your team changed. Talk a little bit about, about that second half and, and what your guys were doing out there on the court. Yeah, one of the big things for us is, you know, what's our defensive level of intensity when offense isn't going? We had a couple good opportunities early on in the half. We just didn't convert. And you start to see that energy start to wane. And so the message was, you, we just got to keep pounding the rock offensively. Just keep doing the things we need to do, keep, keep executing. And the defense can never let up. And our guys really stepped up on the defensive side there, and that really helped turn momentum for us. Been a tough uh, stretch, lost uh, six of your last seven, but uh, and this is a big rival, but coming back into this and knowing that your your squad turned it around, it's got to feel really good for you. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I'm so happy for my guys. You know, I think of, uh, geez, I think of all these seniors in particular, you know, I think of a Tyrion uh, Johnson, uh, Sam Carver, Marcus Rask. They've been here for four years, uh, and it's it's great for them to, to get the win. Um, my little guy's happy to get this win on his fourth birthday, even though he's being shy, but it's great. I'm just so happy for our guys. This, this is a very big win for us, and, you know, now where do we go from here? You know, we got to build momentum, and, and uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ten wins on the season, I, and that, yes. you know, and yeah. still five games left. That's got to feel great as well. It's fantastic. Again, it's fantastic for our guys. Uh, we've come a long way uh, in this program. we got a long way to go. Um, you know, we're not, we're not happy with 10. we got to keep going. we got to keep building. Uh, playoffs are here soon, um, and we know that, you know, in our section that, we could compete with anyone. I think the teams that are going to be the top two seeds will be Forest Lake and Blaine. You know, we've been able to beat them, um, but we also know that we could lose to anyone as well, and that's going to be the fun of the playoffs. I mean, who's playing their best? We need, we need to keep getting better and keep playing better going forward. Congratulations on a big win. Happy birthday, my man. Fist bump. Boom. All right, good. <laughs> We're going to take a break and be back and wrap things up right after this. You're watching live basketball on CTN.
When I was six, my days were spent playing basketball. When I was six, my dream was to make it to the NBA. When I was six, my mom had a stroke. I'm Paul George, and I want you to spot a stroke fast. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time to call 911. Protect the ones you love. Spot a stroke fast. Back is the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse. 58-42 victory for the Cardinals, and things look bleak to start the second half. Howie, for the first eight minutes, they were shut out and allowed the Bengals to come from behind eight and take their first lead of the game. Yeah, you know, we said, we've seen this happen a few times to the Cardinals where they've had that lead and they've given it up and not been able to get it back. But different story tonight, and, and quite obviously, and the way they took charge in that second half really was uh, was exciting to see. And, and you can see it on the place on the faces of these players and on Coach O'Gorick's face, pretty, ha- pretty nice win, 10th win of the season for them. Well, they were down, but the cards did not fold. They came right back and controlled instead. What a night for Wigan for Blaine. He was uh, he was a big part of the reason they were able to charge back. Uh, he finished with a game high 22 points. But then Lionel Warner, once he got going, that was his first points. Got the extra on the to convert the three point play. Then hit three straight three pointers that uh, led the Cardinals down the charge to the end. The Cardinals outscored the Bengals. 15 to 1 in the final minutes of the first half. And a lot of that coming from con- converting on free throw opportunities uh, in that critical point in the game that allowed them to, to just coast to the win at the end. Yeah, no question about it. And, and it, it's just it, it's just the the nice way that, that they were able to extend that lead, Joe, and, and the free throw shooting obviously was big at the end, but you know, three-point uh, opportunities from Lionel Warner, huge. A couple of three-pointers yeah. from uh, Sam Carver yep. as well. I mean, Warner certainly not alone. He had 16 of his 18 in the second half, but Tyreon Johnson finished with 16, and Carver right behind him with 14, including a couple of big three-pointers, and the big man led the charge at the end of the first half after Blaney had come back to tie it. Carver scored the last eight eight points of the half. Yeah, and you love to see those those three players in double figures, and that's the kind of production you want night in and night out if you can get it. And 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 again, they they've got a blueprint here and how they know that they can play. They're capable of uh, of games like this. They'll have to continue that with the next five down the stretch. Yeah, they don't have a lot left. We knew we do not either. As we look toward the end of the. Uh, winter schedule for ourselves. We'll see the girls basketball team next Tuesday as they go on the road to take on Maple Grove. Then we're going to do some hockey playoffs. Those seedings should be out for Monday on Sports Night. We'll have that all updated for you and we'll do some basketball playoffs in the very not too distant future as well. But that's going to do it for this edition of CTM Sports. Again, the final score from the Fieldhouse. It's Coon Rapids 58. Blaine 42. Want to thank everybody out for joining us. Continuing to support everything we do here at CTN. For the entire crew, including Howie Shapiro, I'm Joe Young. Say goodnight.